Okay, welcome again to continuation of the video on Spain. That's time, which is also a class. Let's use a little example on the string that I like. Now, I want to point it very clear. I have two names, uh, I have two strings. I have this A. So let me put in the variable name one plus two. A5. I'll name two. At least. Let me put this way just for practical purposes. I uh, will have these as. I'll show some of the operators that work with string. I probably have name one plus name two. Uh, will it work? Will it work? Yes, it will work. Definitely, it will give me a concatenation of both going together. Each name put it side by side with it. Now, let's see this. If you do this, name one dot. What will be the answer? Wow, it doesn't work that way. So you have to use a plus hmm, to concatenate. That's what we call concatenation. And something funny, also the multiplication operator also work with string. Now I have name one, name one, or let me say name two, times three. What will it give me? It will give me that particular thing concatenated thrice, 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 not twice, thrice. Good. Give me Alice, Alice, Alice. So these two operators work very well with string. Now in this in this video, I will give us a little example. Now uh, you know with the for list, with the for loop, we can do something like if you want to print every character in a particular. You want to print every character in a particular string. What will it do? Uh, we have this uh, name. We have name as this variable. Uh, and plus, and plus technologies. So if we print everything in this variable, you can say for I. For I in name print is using the for loop print I print I. Then what we have you have is you print everything just the way you want it to be. This can also be done with list comparison. We can see uh, this is name. Then we have here for I in name. What should we do? We should print print I for I in name. We have it this way. But in this comparison, as end, it gives you no, 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 according to the length of the list. Now let's do a point if you want to get the index position of a list and also. Want to print the character? Ah, this character is of this particular place. So let's do this same string, uh, same variable. Then we have, um, I have it this way, I have it this way. Print good uh, have um, index position of position of the so what should be here? here will be name dot index and put what i so to get the index position of that good so you see it's a h have an index position of zero just a repetition that way. That is good. That is good. And one more thing in this video, I'm sure that string can actually, in, in, in Python, strings are actually seen like 
is is if we can actually call it as terrible. Let's use this uh we we'll say name uh sorry list name you see it puts its name list that's why this can go so in Python this condition for the for loop you know for loop works with an iterable so this condition for the for loop can go through a list because lead, uh, through a string because string is actually seen like an iterable. It, I'll call it an iterable. I'll call it an iterable in Python. So we have this. This how. So we can also do slicing in. What well, 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 we can do slicing in string. I have name. Remember, if you want to slice, use the square keyword. I start from zero. I want to print uh, from zero, from index position zero to index position one, to index position six. So what should I do? I just put this six, which means it starts from the default value position and goes to six. Will it get to six? No, it won't get to six because sliding actually stop at the lower number before the number you give. So if I do this. Print from zero to five. If I do this, it will print from zero to six. I print from plus. Okay, what about I just want plus out of it? Uh, if I just want plus out of it, what should I do? I should say, okay, this is zero. Uh, P starts from three in the position three and three words, three words, three to seven. I put this three to seven. I close this and have plus. This is slicing. Slicing in. In what is called slicing in string. Now, uh, lastly, in this video, let's see can we actually print a num a string in a reverse way? Let me see name dot can we print it in a reverse way? Is there a function for that? Good. See, uh, there is none, I can't see any function here. So how can we print this list in a reserve way, in a reverse way? Printing a list in a reverse way. How can you do that? How can you do that? Okay, let me just do it. You can do that for swapping. You can do that for swapping. Okay, let me say sub name. Sub name. Because name, let me just speak this. Then just the plus three to Seven. So I say sub name, sub name. Now, what is sub name? Let me use the negative slicing. Sub name have a, a, a length of what? Of four. So if I say sub, sub name S, I want S to come first. What should I do? 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 Okay, you can do this program kind of saying for I in lane in range of the lane of sub name. Mm -hmm. And what are you going to print to print? Well, wow, what are you going to print? You print uh, the name, the sub name, sub name, when I print sub name of I, sorry, sub name of I, of I, it actually starts from the first data plus. But this, I want to do it in a reverse way. I want to do it in a reverse way. So what should be done? What should be done? What should be done? It starts from zero, zero, it starts from zero, one, two, three. Well, I want it to bring three, zero, one. Actually, you can make use of step. You can make use of step. So I will let you to figure out that by yourself. Uh, please, if you eventually come out with it, you can actually post it or comment it in 
the blog or in the video channel in the YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, when I come next, I'll show you how you can do that programmatically very easy. You print a string, no matter the length of the string, in a reverse order. Thank you. Please subscribe and react to our video, videos and YouTube and blogs. Thank you.